Hey guys, welcome back to Life as a Law Student. As you can see, we are closer than ever to making that title actually true. I have a lot of information before me to sort through to select what will be the best place for me to go to law school in preparation for the rest of my career. As you can see, I am sporting my undergrad Wheaton College jacket today, and at the end of the video, we'll do a little reveal of where I'm actually going to be going. You're gonna get to see how I've selected the law school that's best for me, how I sort through all of this information, how I decided where to apply, and even the very moment where I submit my official deposit, which will let the school of my choice know that I will be attending in the fall. So I'm so excited to walk through that process with all of you. I know I've been waiting to do this for four months now. I've kind of had an idea of where I'd be going, but today is the official day of that happening. So let's get into it. So first things first, there's something that I need to address. All of this information that you see before me is actually from schools that I've applied to, and it doesn't include all of it. I couldn't find the information packets for a few of the schools that I applied to, and none of this includes any of the emails that I've received or corresponded with admissions offices at various places that I applied. So this, I would say, is maybe 50% of all of the materials that I've received over the course of the last fall and winter. Now obviously everybody's process for choosing law school is going to differ slightly. For me, I didn't have a particular place I wanted to practice in. I knew that I was probably interested in going to a school ranked somewhere between the 20s and 40s, so that generally limited where I applied. And I also really valued places that I had an opportunity to visit and know if that campus environment was going to be a right fit for me. Well, that definitely cut down the pile a bit. I know you can't see the whole thing, the camera angle isn't great, but a lot of it just got eliminated only because I didn't visit the school. There were various factors of why I didn't visit, either because the initial offer just wasn't competitive with other things I had received. The communication I had with the office led me to believe that it probably wouldn't work out even if I did visit, or because the timing just wasn't great and didn't work out. Some people are comfortable applying and even choosing a school that they haven't visited. I would definitely recommend trying to visit any school that you can before making your official selection, but obviously that isn't always possible and it's something that you have to consider. Always ask for travel assistance from the school. Some of them have budgets set apart for just that. Okay, so I wanna briefly show you some of the materials that these schools sent me. Obviously, this might change in the future, and again, I just wanna reiterate that I have such great respect and thanks towards the schools. I have nothing but good wishes for them and their incoming classes. I wish that I could attend all of them, but unfortunately, that's not possible. But just wanted to show you what you might be able to expect for schools in the future. Some schools, such as Washington and Lee University, actually sent me very little. Most of their communication was through email. They sent me a coupon for the area, information about admitted student day, and then obviously my letters of admission. I really like the approach that Wake Forest Law took in its mailings. Although they communicated a lot over email, they did send me one folder with basic information, like my admissions letter, some cool gear like stickers and a flag, as well as a campus map and a brochure with information about the area surrounding it. I think that's really good information that it's hard to find online or really communicate effectively without something to hold on to and flip through. So good job, Wake Forest. Love it, you're a great school. Sorry I'm not coming. <laughs> Next up is University of Minnesota. Again, they took a really cool approach with just the one folder, which actually is like super nice. Uh, my admissions letter, and some pamphlets about the school. University of Minnesota also sent me these awesome mittens, so thanks for that, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. University of Minnesota is actually a top 20 school, and they're great. Definitely check them out if you're interested in being in the Midwest. Penn State Dickinson is an interesting case because it used to be joined up with what is now Penn State University Park. So it was a little confusing getting mailings from both of them. They're ranked very similarly. And honestly, I just couldn't get too into their materials. But I'll show you, basically, it came in this giant envelope. They did send me some cool socks, which I can't find. I like when I get gear from schools, even if I don't end up going there. I still can appreciate the fact that 
Lots of people go there, love it, and that's great. That's all that really matters is that you pick a school that you love and you think is gonna get you where you want to be career-wise. The final school that I ruled out because I did not get to visit was Duke. Duke was interesting. I think I got more physical material from Duke than anybody else which wasn't my favorite, but obviously it's an incredible school. I think it's ranked top 10. So it's definitely effective for the students that are coming in, but for me, it was just an overwhelming amount of information. I will show you right now. They did send me a shirt, as well as two pretty ginormous packets. So one of them is this guy, and I don't know if you can tell, but these are all individual packets right here. Um, fairly dense reading material. Honestly, I just don't want to read that much. <laughs> In addition to that, they sent me this monster right here, which is also a cool folder, and I appreciate the attention to detail, but I can't even hold it all. I'm not even sure what that one's for. Great stuff if that's where you're going, um, or if that's where you're thinking that you might like to apply. They're definitely going to invest a lot in giving you all the information you can handle, plus a little bit more. Back in the box you go. Okay, so just to try to give you a holistic picture, schools I didn't mention earlier were Boston College, which I did visit, but didn't send me any information. University of North Carolina, they didn't send me any materials either, but I also didn't get the chance to visit, so they were cut from the list. Vanderbilt University also did not send me any physical materials. They do all of their communication over email, at least they did for me. And I decided not to visit, so that narrowed it down from 13 to 4. I have Wisconsin Madison over here, which you can't see. Um, right here is Washington University. Over here is UC Irvine. And here is Notre Dame. Now, all of these schools are great. They're great. I loved them. I visited all of them, and every single one I could picture myself going to and was interested in learning as much as I could about. So we'll start with Wisconsin-Madison. I really liked the school. The admissions team was super nice. They did send me a little pop-up thing for my phone, basic information, and then obviously my scholarship letter, but that was it as far as physical materials go. The reason I did not select University of Wisconsin was primarily based on money, honestly. Wisconsin-Madison has a great reputation. They unfortunately did not give me the amount of scholarship assistance that I was looking for or honestly expecting from them. They were one of the schools I thought for sure I'd get a lot of money at and would be a no big deal. And for whatever reason, they decided not to do that, but that's okay. Next up is UC Irvine, and you guessed it, I'm not going to UC Irvine. And honestly, it was a pretty similar reason as University of Wisconsin. Really liked the school, totally could see myself there. It's actually only about 45 minutes away from where I grew up, so I'd be able to visit home whenever I wanted, and it's rising through the ranks like nobody's business. It's a pretty new school within the last 10 years, I think, and they're already in the top 20, 25, something like that. They had this pretty cool information packet that I actually liked. Um, you can see here is Oh, I guess there you go, 10 years. <laughs> this is really all they sent me in addition to my admissions letter and some very basic statistics about the school. Unfortunately, I won't be attending, again, based on just scholarship assistance not being where it was at with some other schools that I applied to, but it's really great. I'm super excited about what they're doing, and I think they're going to continue to shoot through the ranks because they're doing awesome things, and they're so young for a law school. That was not a comfortable position to be sitting in for that long. Sorry about the camera change. My feet were killing me in the previous position. I know you couldn't see them, but it was super uncomfortable. So here we go. <laughs> if you've been following along at home, you know that we're down to two schools from 13, Notre Dame and Washington University, St. Louis. I cannot say enough good things about either of these schools. Notre Dame is in the top 25 and consistently has been since it was founded, basically. It has an incredible reputation of being a great law school. It was nice that it was a part of their heritage to believe in God. That's an incredible factor that I can't get anywhere else. The other thing that was really special to me about Notre Dame was that I have been thinking about Notre Dame since I was probably 10. 
I wrote about it in my admissions letter to them that that was the school of my dreams basically forever. So how could I say no to that? I visited the campus. It was the most beautiful place I've ever been to in my life. The people couldn't have been nicer. Yeah, I mean, Notre Dame is awesome. Next up was Washington University. And this was a school I actually had never heard of. Uh, I wasn't even going to apply. When I did eventually visit the school though, I really liked it. Everybody was insanely kind. They went out of their way to actually fund my trip to visit before I had even applied to the school. And the school is ranked incredibly highly, both for its clinical programs, which are really important to me, and for its academics in general. I think it's number five in the country for clinical programs and number 18, or tied at 18 with Vanderbilt actually for the law school in general. Both had beautiful campuses, both were in the Midwest. The other thing that really set these two schools apart for me uh, was they actually both sent me personalized letters. And that means a lot. I am a big words of affirmation person. Somebody saying anything nice about me is basically what I live for. So I just really found that to be a super personal um, and genuine touch. I was really nervous to pick between the two because one had been a long time favorite and one I had never heard of but couldn't stop loving. So which school did I pick? Top right corner of your screen there'll be a little card. Go ahead, pause the video, click which one you think that I picked and then we'll do the reveal. So pause it right now. Vote if you haven't done it yet. Did you do it? Okay. You can't change your answer after you know. So, well, I mean, you could, but but don't. That's lame. Dun da da. I picked Washington University. Now we've shut off the old in light of the new, and I could not be more excited, you guys. Um, I will be calling St. Louis home for the next three years, and all of the videos that come once I start law school will be there. So um, let me go through why I picked WashU with you. Ultimately what it came down to was the demonstrated dedication to me as an applicant, specifically through finances, but also through opportunities with the school. What Notre Dame offered me was great. It was almost full tuition. They gave me a lot of options of ways that I could make more money while being employed at the school. They could offer me a lot more in terms of school-based faith communities, but ultimately Washington University did end up giving me a full ride plus a living stipend, which I am blown away by and literally cried about when I heard. That's not something that I ever expected to get, especially from a school that's ranked in the top 20 of all things. They just really invested in me as an applicant. They've already set up many mentorships that I can participate in, as well as certain research and clinical opportunities that are certainly not guaranteed otherwise, although Washington University I know does a great job of letting everyone do those opportunities who wants to. Washington University is a great choice for me. I couldn't be more excited. All of the faculty and staff there that I've reached out to have been so excited to talk to me and explain more about why Washington University was a great choice for them as a career and is potentially and hopefully a great choice for me for law school. All right, so I'm about to go to work today, but all I have left to do to let Washington University know that I am coming is to pay my deposit. Okay, here we go. We're going to pop these numbers in and yeah, let's go. It's done. I did it. I just sent like my entire paycheck for last month to wash you as my deposit, but I get to go. It's done. I'm going to law school. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have more questions about the admissions process or admissions decisions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm so happy to answer any questions that you may have um, about my personal journey or what yours might look like. Hi, Grace.
please make sure to give me a thumbs up below. Make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe so you can follow my journey to wash you in the fall. So excited to continue engaging with you all and sharing this journey with you. I will see you guys next time. God bless.